In this video, we will talk about how to process data in real time on MATLAB. We will look at two different methods of doing the real time processing. First, we will look at uh, how we can do it through programming, and then uh, we will try and do it with Simulink. Let's look at how we can do the real time processing using the MATLAB programming. So this will be the code that we will use for the real time processing. First def define the sampling frequency equals to 44100, the number of bits equals 16 and the number of channels equals 1. The uh, first predefined function that we will use is the rec audio recorder and we will give uh, f the fr sampling frequency, the number of bits and the number of channels as argument. What this will do is create an object for recording and we have named it record object then uh, we will use the record blocking function what this will do is define the time for recording that how much time uh, you want to record the function here we have defined it as five seconds then uh, we will get uh, we'll use get audio data uh, what this will do is get uh, audio from the object record object and store it in the variable z now uh, we will run it as uh, it is running in the background how do you see it's the cursor is blinking now as you can see it has created an object and taken the cat audio data has stored it in the variable now let's play this and check if it's recorded or not we will use uh, the sound function uh, we have given it uh, the z uh, argument which is the uh, variable that we created to store the data and f is the sampling rate and let's run it as uh, it is running in the background how do we see now as you can see that this has done the all the recording and I stored it and we have played it you can also plot it and see how uh, it is as you can see it has plotted the data now we will look at how we can do the real time processing using the simulink first open the simulink library open the new model place from audio device in the new model now place real time scope connect connection make the connections now place uh, two word space block make the connection Double click to open uh, the same from audio device. Change the number of channels to one. Press OK. We'll double click on the two workspace block. Change the variable name to any name you want. I'm gonna name it real time. I'm gonna change the format to an array. From 3D, change to 2D array press ok now for real time processing you have to change the runtime to infinite just write inf in the runtime now click one now what this is doing is uh, it is recording for an infinite time you have to stop it to stop the simulation now this has done the recording now let's uh, check this on uh, the simulink as you can see that uh, it has created an object real time remove this yes now let's see if it is working or not why I'm gonna name a variable y I'm gonna real time now let's play this
my SBF FS equals four four one zero zero. Or SF four four one zero zero and plot it at the same time. Now let's run this. Now what this is doing is uh, it is recording for an infinite time. You have to stop it to stop the simulation. As you can see that uh, this was the recording that we have done and this is the plot that we have generated which is the same as this one so this is how you can do the real time processing if you like the video please like comment share and subscribe thank you for watching